Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is going to be on Lullaby of a Dead Man, which is from Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies. It's a cool track, uh, it's a really easy song to play, and I'm going to teach you the whole song, but just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, and I'd love to hear from you, so please leave me some comments in the comment section, including what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this, then I'll put it on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning. Now the intro sounds like this. So to play that, we're going to do G6 and then D8, and then G6 again, and then D8 again. So you get, and then we play B6 to D7, and then B6 again, and then D7 again. So you get, so the first bar slowly, you've got, To bar two and we're going to play B6 and G6 and then B6 and then G6 so you get and then B8 and G8 and then B8 and G8 again so bar two slowly so bars one and two together Bar number three is exactly the same as bar number one. And then bar number four, slightly different, we play the B6 and the G6 twice. Then we go to E4, to G5, to E5, back to the G5. So, you get so bar four slowly goes. So the whole line you get. And that line repeats, so you play that twice and that's the intro. And then we get the verse which goes. So nice and easy, we just get a B flat power chord, which is E6 and A8. Top two strings, just a bit of palm muting, uh, and play it eight times in the first bar of that verse, which is bar five, and again into bar six. So you've got two bars of it, just playing this. And then you just move down a string, and it becomes E flat, so A6 and D8, and you've got two bars of that. And you'll notice above bar eight, it's got a little one and a little like line across it. So that tells us when we repeat, we're not gonna play bar eight again. So you play bars five, six, seven, and eight, and then you repeat back and play bars five, six, seven, but instead of bar eight, we're gonna to jump to bar nine, and we play an F power chord, which is, a8 and D10, and we just hit that eight times. So hopefully that makes sense. So you play bars five, six, seven, and eight, and then five, six, seven, and nine. So the second time round goes B flat. Then E flat. Then to bar nine, F. So that's the verse, hopefully that makes sense. And then we get the next line, um, and we get two bars before we get to the chorus. So the two bars, we've got a G sharp, uh, sorry, a G flat five chord, and an A flat five chord. So it sounds like this. So E2 and A4, eight times. 
and then E4 and A6 eight times. So those bars, bars 10 and 11, just two bars before the chorus. Let's just play that. Three, four. Which takes us to bar 12, which is a chorus, and we get this. Okay, so for that bar 12, we've got uh, a B flat power chord, which we've done really sick. E6 and A8, four hits on that. Then go to the F power chord, which is A8 and D10, four times. Then D flat, which is A4 with D6. Again, four times. Then move up two frets to an E flat power chord, which is A6 and D8 eight times. So bars 12 and 13, you've got. And you play that twice, so you repeat bars 12 and 13. So 12 and 13 twice round, go. And then we get this bar 14, which goes. Which is A4, E6, A4, E6. So you got. Then A6, A4, A3. And then a B flat power chord, which is E6 and A8. So bar 14 goes. which jumps straight back to the intro, but only plays the intro once through, and then the verse, and then those little two um, chords before the chorus. And then the second chorus um, is just twice as long. On, so the first two bars are exactly the same here on this bottom line, so bar 15 and 16. They repeat four times as opposed to um, twice in the first chorus. So same idea, but soon. That times four times. And then this little ending bit is slightly different just because it changes the course you get. Which is gonna take us into the middle eight. So uh, bar 17, it starts the same. So A4, E6, A4, E6, then A6, A4, A3. And then we go to a G flat power chord, which is gonna take us into the middle eight. So E2 and A4. So bar 17 slowly goes. Which takes us into the middle eight there on bar 18. And we just keep chugging on that um, G flat. So you go. Then up to a B flat chord, which is E6 and A8. So let's just play bars 17, 18, 19. It's like getting into the middle eight. So from bar 17 goes. Let's go on to the next line, which is continuing with the middle eight. Um, and we've got. So you've got the G flat power chord eight times. And then into bar 21, we've got a B flat power chord. We're going to hit it twice. And then E8 and A8 twice. Then E9 and A8. Then A6 and D8 twice. So bar 21 slowly goes. The actual guitar's not changing, but the bass player's doing that walk-in line, so uh, I thought I'd put that on, it sounds cool. And then bar 22 is back to the G flat chord. Bar 23 is back to the B flat chord. Bar 24 is back to the G flat. Then bar five goes. 
which is A1 and, uh, sorry, E1 and A4, uh, playing it four times, and then move the finger from the A4 to the A3 with the E1, so you get. Uh, and that's the end of the middle eight. And then after the middle eight, we get this little breakdown, which goes. Um, it's actually up an octave, but I, I wrote it down an octave. Uh, so, because it, it it's not played on a guitar, it sounds like a sort of synth type thing. So we're gonna play D8, G6, B6, and E6, so you got. And then it goes A8, G8, B6, and then E8, so you got. So bar 26, you got. And then bar 27, E9, G8, B6, and E9. That's a bit awkward, that. And then A6, G8, B6, and E6. Uh, so the whole line slowly. And it just does that twice. Uh, and then it just goes back to the chorus and keeps repeating around the chorus until this last line, the very last bit, uh, which just goes. Which is A4, E6, A4, E6, A6, then A4, so you get. Then A9, A8, A6, A4, A8, A6. So that from the last hit of bar 28 goes. Then A3, then A4, A3, E6, A6, and then A4. So, so the whole that last line goes. And that's the whole of the song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, press the like button on the video, press the notifications. Uh, please leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what songs I should do next. Uh, and if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this, then I'll put it on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Well, thanks for watching this. I do appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.